Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. Thank you for joining me for yet another viewer requested video. And today we're finally talking about hair products. Hallelujah, right? I know many of you found my channel through my hair tutorials and hair is your primary interest. Now, what we're gonna be talking about today is, have I been able to find a dupe for the Enjoy Dry Wax? Now, I have had several requests surrounding this video. So I have had numerous requests for a drugstore dupe, and then I've had also numerous requests for other dupes because either you found this hard to work with or you've had a hard time getting your hands on the Enjoy Dry Wax and we're looking for an alternative. So I have been testing out several different products, drugstore and a couple of higher end. I also went ahead and tested a couple more root boosting products to see if I could find more favorites instead of my standard two that I use. So um, I did a video similar to this last summer and tested three pomades and another root boosting product. So I will link that video down below, but today we're trying all new products. So let's get to it. So starting off real quickly, because I only have two to share, I'm going to talk about two root boosting products that I have tested out. One from the drugstore. So this is the Garnier Fructis style and it's called Root Amp Root Lifting Spray Mousse. It says boost volume, no sticky way down. So when I saw this, I got really excited because I think this is only around four or five dollars at Walmart. I will annotate on the screen here the prices of each of these products because I don't have them sitting in front of me. But um, I was really excited to try this out because it sounded like a good product that's similar to my Catwalk Root Boost. However, this made my hair feel so dirty and just gross. I hated it. In fact, I hated it so much, I only wanted to try it one time. So this sadly did not like at all. The next product I was sent by this company in a group of products, and I'm gonna be talking about the rest of their line in another video, but this is by Agadir, I believe that's how you say that, and it's a natural, healthy, and healing hairline, and every one of their products has hemp and red wine infused in their products. And Honestly, I thought when I heard liquid mousse styling spray, and I saw that it's just a liquid and it doesn't have an aerosol pump or anything, I really didn't have high hopes for it. But surprisingly, this worked really well. Now, I don't feel like this gives me quite as much volume as the Catwalk Root Boost does, but it did not make my hair feel dirty. And in fact, I almost didn't feel like there was anything in it by the time I had dried my hair, but I had nice lift and some holds there. And so then when I went in with my other styling products, everything worked great. So if you're looking for something that's a little lighter weight and really good for your hair, I would certainly recommend this one. All right, now let's get on to the pomades. Okay, I tested four from the drugstore, so we are gonna start there first. The first one was actually recommended by one of my subscribers, and I wouldn't have actually tried this medium or this type of product because it's actually a styling glue or gel. Um, but one of my subscribers said this is their favorite product, so I gave it a try. All of the instructions are for applying to damp hair, but it says create spikier styles. It's for hair that ain't going nowhere. Push through hair to get it in place, twist tips to stand up straight spikes or haphazardly distribute all over for that unstructured messy look. And you know, that's kind of my hair to a T, right? Um, it also says it's wind tunnel tested. Your style will last until your next shampoo and it's water resistant. All great description there, um, but it says to use on damp hair. So I've tested this on a couple in a couple different ways. I used it on more wet hair because I don't style my hair before it's fully dried. So I tried it on wet hair and it gave me a little bit of some hold, but I, I mean, my hair felt almost like there was nothing in it by the time my hair was dry. So then I did try this on my dry hair to try and style it. And it was so strange. I did not, maybe I didn't use 
a big enough blob of it, but you know, I didn't want a wet glued look to my hair, but I really struggled to get this to really hold or to um, give the amount of texture that I want in my hairstyles. So sadly, this just was not a win for me. I did find that it was pretty easy to get out of my hair, but I think if you style your hair in more of a dry style, I don't think that this is going to work. The next product I tried because I thought, well, maybe I misunderstood and this person actually was talking about the got to be glued spiking wax. So in my hunt at the drugstore, I was going to Walgreens, Target, Walmart, and I was opening up lids, trying to get a glimpse of what the product looked like because I was looking for a wax. I also read all of the descriptions. So this one says, Break the laws of styling with wax that defies gravity. Yes. Screaming hold spiking wax locks in style. While the lightweight wax leaves no flaking and no white residue, the long lasting style wax lasts all day, lets you style your way from classic to outrageous. All right. Now this one specifically is for applying to dry hair. So I thought, okay, this is good. Um, the smell on this, I do really like the smell of this. It's a really nice smell. Um, and this one is, you're gonna hear me describe this one and the next two very similarly. So it's really, there's a slight little bit of wax, but it does kind of, I don't know if you can see as I rub it in, um, it really does kind of almost melt into kind of like a glue-like texture. So as I'm distributing this through my hair, um, it does provide some hold and definition, but once it dries, kind of after you've worked it through your hand and you've put it in your hair, it's gone. And it's slightly sticky still on your fingers, but you can't go back in and restyle. So you do have to keep going back into the product. And I really just struggled to get um, the definition and the texture to hold before I needed to spray my hair. And I did feel like I needed to use quite a bit of product because I had to keep going back in. Um, the hold on it was okay, but like I said, I, I even felt like through the day, this kind of weighed the hair down. And so by the end of the day, I didn't really feel like I had that hold left. So the next two products, also I found very similar. So the next one was by Equate. This is from Walmart. So Walmart brand, it's styling fiber, and this is to be compared to the American Crew brand. And this one, it says it's a new formula, all of that. Um, the scent on this is okay. It's bearable, it's not my favorite. And it says this styling fiber is designed to work best for short, choppy haircuts. It is formulated to provide a thicker, more textured look with a matte finish. So um, the Enjoy Dry Wax, it is a matte finish. So I was excited to hear that as part of the description. Very similar, similar feel to this one. This one though, because it has more of a matte texture, um, when you put it on your hair, it does kind of stay more a little more waxy like the enjoy dry wax but again i just felt like because it's a little more sticky texture and then dries down again i struggled to get it to really hold the texture in my style and the last one from the drugstore is this one and this is the number one matte paste by johnny's chop shop and i have to tell you it smells like a chop shop would smell, like I envision it smelling, so not a fan of all of that. Of course, it's geared for men, so that's part of the issue, I think. But again, this uh, product, this one is probably the lightest weight of these, past, of these three, um, but again, putting it through my hair, this one is, it's gone like it's immediately dried. And so 
it gives you like two seconds to put some in your hair and then you got to go back for more so i didn't feel like this could be reworked at all so I mean, it dries faster than these two in your hands. So therefore, you have basically one go at it through your hair and that's it. Then if you're needing to shift and adjust the style at all, you've got to go back for more product. And I felt like this one really made my hair kind of feel dirty. So sadly, from the drugstore, I did not find a dupe. Um, if any of you have any drugstore dupes that you have found, please let me know. I'm always up for trying new, but these I'm going to be passing on to some of my friends who have boys that like to style their hair a little differently than I do. The last two products that I have tried, um, I have an actual first impression of this one because a very dear subscriber of mine was so kind to send me this. So let me cut to the first impression demo and show you the first time that I ever tried this product. So here is the product that the subscriber sent to me. That was so sweet of you, Sandy. Thank you so much. This is the Control Maniac, and I tried the texture from this same hairline, but have never tried this. So she wanted to see a first impression and then my lasting impression. So that's why I'm including that in this video. The scent of it is the exact same as I recall from the texture one, but this one is a stiffer consistency. So let's see, it is a little more wax-like. I'm excited about that. You can see it's blue. We'll start off with that amount. As you know, I'm not in my normal environment here. So we're gonna see how this goes of me just putting this through my hair using the camera as my mirror. And then I've got my little side mirror here. So we'll see. Okay, so as it's going on the hair, um, I feel like it's a lot softer as compared to the Enjoy Dry Wax, but it's remaining pliable, which I do like. And let's see here. I just got my hair cut two days ago, so it's pretty short and still not quite uh, trained in the direction it needs to go. So this is a really good test for it. So just like the Enjoy Dry Wax, I like that it stays a little bit waxy. Um, there is more shine, I can already tell, than the Enjoy Dry Wax. So I've got that run through my hair. I'm gonna go ahead and spray my hair and be back with the finished look. Okay, here is our finished look. So I overall, I think this worked well. I would say this is one that you do have to be careful of not to get too much because I think it will weigh your hair down. This one has a lot more shine, which I'm not mad about, but with that shine usually means that if you get a little too much, it can weigh your hair down. So if you have fine hair, this might be a little trickier than the Enjoy Dry Wax. But overall, my hair feels soft. It doesn't feel glued down. And I think I stopped right at the right amount so it doesn't look greasy or anything, but it actually looks nice and shiny and healthy. So we'll see how this one wears throughout the day. So I've continued testing this product out and I think my initial impressions of it were pretty spot on. So this one, I do love the scent of this product. It is the same as the um, Frenzy one as well. It's kind of a fruity scent. And this one though, definitely I have found that it's too much shine to give me the hold that I need. However, I have found my groove with it in just combining it with my Enjoy Dry Wax. So I used it today. I just used my Enjoy Dry Wax first 
and then I went in with just the tiniest little amount on the tips of my finger and added it through and then finished styling my hair and it adds a really beautiful shine to the hair especially like right here around the edge if you want to piece some pieces together this is a great product for that that aside as far as the hold through the day because it has so much shine qualities in it it does not give me a hold a good enough hold throughout the day to last all by itself and the final product i don't even know how i stumbled on this product except maybe i was searching i think i was searching on amazon for hair pomades hair wax all of those keywords and this brand came up and it is by Layrite, and this is the cement clay <laughs> so i know it's kind of funny we look at products that say they're glue or paste or cement or wax and those are the products that i get excited about so um this product this line has a couple of different products but the cement clay sounded like what I was looking for. Um, let me just read you a little bit of the description. It says, it is an extreme high hold water-based styling clay that delivers all day control for structured dry or messy looks and it's reworkable. So this one, you can see I've actually used quite a bit of this. First off, this smells like a vanilla candle. I love that about this. When I first opened it up, I thought, well, hey, even if it doesn't work, I can just open it up and smell it. <laughs> but this product is, as it says, water-based. So that was really intriguing to me because while I do love the Enjoy Dry Wax, it is harder to wash out of your hair. And I know some of you have asked me that question. It's possible and I do get it out of my hair, but it can be a little challenging. This one being water-based, I was really excited to try. Um, this one is a thicker paste. It stays very pliable. So unlike this paste in particular and those others that dry almost immediately on the hair, this one gives you a longer workability and it does give you good hold. Okay, so, so you can see it is still there on my fingers. I've still got plenty of time to work it through my hair. So I think that is one of the main keys of why this one really works. It remains workable longer and then it does provide really good hold. Now I still don't feel like it's quite as good of hold and texture as the Enjoy Dry Wax. However, it is very close and I do love the smell and yes, it does wash out very easily. So it is water-based. So um, that's a, a good thing and also a con. It can be because with the Enjoy Dry Wax, you don't have to worry about it getting washed out if you go in the rain and <laughs> get your hair wet. It's still gonna be there. And later on, you can blow dry your hair and still have some styling product in there. This will wash out very easily. However, all that being said, I do feel like this is a good quality product. And if you want something that smells good and there is more product in here, there's 4.25 ounces compared to the Enjoy Dry Wax. The price, however, is about the same. Um, I do feel like I use a little more of this product than Enjoy Dry Wax, but it is a good alternative. And I do find this has worked well when I wear my hair more flat styled like this or in the spikier style. So to wrap up this video, I think what I have determined is the main key of the Enjoy Dry Wax. What makes it so hard to dupe is the fact that it remains workable so you don't have to continue to reapply more product therefore even though this is more expensive than your drugstore ones i actually feel like this is going to maybe give you more of your money's worth because you're going to be using less than half the amount of product 
versus one of these that you have to continually keep going back in to get more product. So yes, I understand this is a pricier one, but again, I feel like the quality, the longevity of the hold, and the fact that the next day you can pull out your blow dryer and just re emulsify what's in your hair and you don't have to apply anymore, that gives you even more value for your money in the long run. Thank you as always so much for watching. And again, a big thank you to Sandy for sending me this product. It was officially my first ever gift from a subscriber. So thank you so much for doing that. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Make sure you're subscribed and continue sending me your requests. I will put those on my list and continue to do these videos throughout the year. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.